Hello, this is Dr. Jaden. Welcome to e m i n Medicine. Weekly Flow, November 2022, Week 2. This is the second week of the November. The monthly pillar Shin Metal High Water Bore governs November 7th to December 7th. High Water Bore is the birth branch of small cycle of water as a water season. So from this month, there will be three months of water. High Water Bore makes a branch combination with Inwood Tiger, creating the wood energy. These are six kinds of branch combinations. You can see this Bore energy. and tiger energy create a combination and this combination is supporting the wood so you can see water energy and wood energy will be increasing in november and other three elements will be decreasing let's look at the pillars in detail from november 6th to november 8th will be three days of water so the water energy will be strong november 6th is g u e i water with high water bore this is still gung metal with Shu Earth Dog Month. This is the last day of the dog month. And also Gui Hai is the last pillar out of 60. So this day will be the perfect day for wrapping up the previous season to start the new cycle. You can see all other four elements are pretty much balanced, except the fire. Fire will be the weakest element. And Monday, November 7th will be Jia Wood with Zhu Water Red Day. This is the beginning of Shin Metal High Water Bore Month. And Jia Wood with Zhu Water Red is the first pillar of 60 pillars. So Monday will have a lot of meaning of new start, new beginning, new planning. You can see water is really strong. And at the same time, wood is also strong. And if you have Cho Earth Ox in your chart, these three characters will create seasonal combination of water, creating more solid water energy. Tuesday, November 8th is E Wood with Cho Earth Ox Day. This is the last day of three days of water. So you can see earth and metal energies are a little bit increased. And if you have Zhu Water Red in your chart, these three will also create the seasonal combination of water, creating stronger water energy. From November 9th to 11th, there will be three days of wood days. from tiger to dragon and on these two days there will be fire stems on the heavenly stems so these wood will generate the fire creating little more yang energy on wednesday november 9th will be being fire with in wood tiger day there will be double combination between boar and tigers so the wood energy will be stronger than the water and this wood energy support this being fire So you can see fire energy is a little bit increased. But there will be stem combination between being fire and shin metal, creating water energy. So being fire's energy will be a little bit restricted. So in this month, every time when being fire comes on the heavenly stem, this combination will be created. On Thursday, November 10th, there will be ding fire with m a o d rabbit. There's no heavenly stem combination, so fire is not that restricted as the being fire and if there is a way earth goat in your chart these three characters will create triple combination of wood creating even stronger wood energy friday november 11th will be wu earth with chun earth dragon this is strong earth day so you can see the earth energy get increased and the dragon is water storage so there could be the ghost gate aspect on Friday. From November 12th to 14th, there will be three days of fire. The fire days are very welcoming in this month. On Saturday, there will be G Earth with s u Fire Snake. So fire energy start to get increased, making the clash with this high water bore. So you can see the, all the five elements are pretty much balanced on this day. So whenever fire days come in this month, all five elements become pretty much balanced in line plot you can see the water and wood energy get increased from monday november 7th especially on monday and thursday the wood energy is really high and on saturday and friday as well the five elements will be relatively balanced 
comparing with other days. And it is really interesting to see there are huge gap between water wood and fire earth metal on Monday. So some kind of different opinions, like opposite opinions between you and me, could be exaggerated on Monday. And those two opposite opinions could be in agreement, like understand each other on Saturday. So please observe what you can experience. And it's better not to force your opinion when certain elements are really diminished. So please keep that in mind. Okay, that was the flow of this week. Thank you for watching this video. This was Dr. Jaden. I will see you guys next week. Bye.